A10 regular season champs. Let's just talk about that. Yeah, that just sounds nice. You know, um, it's such a great feeling to come out and earn the regular season uh, championship and the number one seed going into to the tournament. Uh, I can't say enough of how proud I am of our team and, and their effort and coming back from, from where we were last year and, and how hard they worked over the summer and how much they worked as a team, their chemistry. And it's just been phenomenal to, to coach it. Naira and have her have a junior year like she's been having right now and just has done an excellent job for us. But again, just so proud of, of our effort this year. Naira, let's talk about the same thing. How's it feel to say you, you know, came back and won an A-10 championship here this uh, regular season this year? I mean, it feels amazing knowing what we went through last year and how hard we worked this summer uh, just to be here today. So it's an amazing feeling. A couple of big charges out there. How did you just uh, stay, stay in there and, uh, and take the, uh, the pound in there? Uh, that was the game plan. Mm -hmm. Coach said, you know, they kind of just put their head down and go. So I just put my body there and took the charge. I know at the beginning of every season for every team, you know, be where you are right now is the goal. You know, what was the process? How did we, how did we get from, uh, you know, end of last year to today? You know, what did we have to go through and what did we have to do to get here today? Um, I think it started with the summer. We kind of changed how we worked out, um, how we were conditioning. And then uh, I got to thank Franklin Street because <laughs> it got us ready for uh, all kinds of games. And then we just worked hard throughout the season, and we just wanted to prove ourselves. Going at the, after last year, you know, what was, like, the mentality also? Like, did, did you know you had to make some changes, or was it just kind of we just put the time, the effort, and the work here, we can we have something special here that we can – accomplish? Um, I mean, we knew we had a special team, but we had to change or we were going to be the same season like last year, winning seven games. So we just kind of changed our mindset and changed our work ethic, and we all bought into the plan. Coach, what was that plan? You know, I think one of the things that has been really good about this team all year long has been our depth. Um, and, you know, you look out on our stat sheet and, and there's always going to be a balance of players that score, that get rebounds, that have assists. And I think that's really helped us, you know, earn really tough wins. Davidson is a very good team. They're well coached. Um, and one of the things that's great about Naira is if I ever forget a play or where they need to go or what we ran two years ago, she knows it. Um, and when your point guard, you know, has such a good grasp of what the, the scout plan is and, and and what we want to do on the offensive side um, and just play so unselfish. You talk about winning plays, you know, those charges, her voice out there, those were things that maybe not show up in the stat sheet, but it's it's 100% part of the, the reason that we have this title. And again, they, the, the depth and the buy-in has been awesome. Uh, at what point in the year did you see a change and you know, that where we are today was achievable? I think when everyone asks, okay, what's your identity? Right, and, and the, all those national stats were coming out and, and our team was seeing how how hard we were playing defensively and how that was one of the best in the country. It didn't matter what school it was, BCS, A-10, our defense was one of the best in the country. And and then that, I think, helped us with a little bit of confidence um, and, and really buy into, okay, we've got to do this. But, you know, I think the process for us is that we're still learning as a young squad out there that, hey, practices are really important. You know, and then and you go on the road, you're going to get everyone's A game, and it's about possessions. Um, and I think today that was the big lesson that we learned, you know, from our two tough losses. Hey, this is about pace and possessions from the start, and, you know, I think they were right on it. Along with our play, you, see, you just saw a different personality in this year's team. You know, let's talk about how that kind of evolved and what, how you describe the personality of this team. Yeah, I think, you know, we talked about it. It's not that you experience failure, you know, or adversity. Everybody goes through it. Every team goes through it. It's, it's how you respond to it. Um, and you can blame, you know, other people. You can, you know, say it was this, say it was that. Or you can look at yourself and say, hey, we're going to make a change. And I think that was all the way from, you know, our coaching staff to every single player that put on their uniform this year. It was about us. And it didn't matter where we were playing, who we were playing. You know, we were going to respond with a different type of toughness. And you just can't, you know, that experience that, you know, when you're playing a game and there's four freshmen out there, you can't really talk about what that is like and how many things they're learning. And, you know, these guys just did a great job of taking that experience and, and putting into action this year. And, again, I'm just I'm so proud. Obviously, we need to enjoy this and, and be in the moment for this. But the tournament right around the corner, be the number one seed, 
how do we approach that and how do we, uh, what do we need to do to come out of there uh, holding a trophy over it? Uh, I mean, this was the first step. You know, we still have three, four more games to go and we're going to go in it like we won every game. It's winter go home at this point, so we're going to practice hard, get ready for our scout, and we're just going to play hard. I'm going to let Naira lead because that's exactly it. You know, practice hard, play hard one game at a time, and, you know, they, they've earned it. So let's go have some fun in Pittsburgh. I got one if we got time. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so I don't know if you guys saw, but behind the bench there's a sign that said, a oil for Coach of Year, C-O-Y. So I'm not going to ask Coach about this, but Naira, I'll ask you. Uh, you, got a, you got a good argument for her to win Coach of the Year this year? I mean, one definitely. Time. Uh, yeah, I mean, you look at our record last year, winning seven games to being the A-10 champions. Um, coach never gave up on us. She always pushes us every day in practice, and I definitely believe she should be coach of the year. Yeah, I like the title better. Those things don't matter yeah. to me. Yeah. I, I, I like those charges, and, you know, I, I do think our players um, and should get a ton of the postseason awards because they're the ones out there running. They're the ones getting up there in the morning. And, um, you know, again, it's been a team effort and just so impressed with their mentality this year. And, hey, what a great feeling to win it at home in front of a packed stew. It was great. Congratulations. Thank you. Thanks.